All right, so let's let's. Uh, I know last time we did this, I would like recap everything, and then we would talk about it at the end. But let's we'll take it through point by point. Um, so first up, the Super Mario 3D All Star All Stars. So basically, it's an optimized version of Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy. Um, so what does optimized mean? It means that it's made to run on the Switch and it has higher resolutions, but it's not a remaster by any means. So no, uh, they, some people said that there might be some new textures, but I don't think it's going to be much. Um, there's an in-game music player mode. So you can play music from all three games and you can even play it in like an idle mode. So even if your Switch is off, you can listen to the music. And it's going to have a limited production from September 18th through March uh, 31st. So, yeah, I mean, what did, what did you think about it? Well, I had a lot of thoughts on it, obviously. Uh, this is the news that people have been waiting for for a long time. It's been rumored to be uh, in the making for months now. Uh, and then mm -hmm. to finally get it, uh, just a complete shadow drop was it's kind of par for on par for what Nintendo does nowadays, especially in 2020 with the uh, pandemic situation. But even then it was a nice surprise to wake up and see that news. Um, a lot of things. Uh, I, so a couple positive things. The fact that we have this in the compilation is really cool. Uh, Super Mario mm -hmm. Sunshine, I never got to play Super Mario 64. I grew up playing and I loved it. And of course, Super Mario Galaxy, I think is one of the best 3d Mario games ever. Uh, so that's a nice surprise. I do have a little issue with the fact that it does seem to be like a copy and paste job. Like you said, it's mm -hmm. just basically ports, not remasters. I think Super Mario 64 out of the entire Mario 3D canon deserves a full on remake from the ground up using uh, probably the engine for Super Mario Odyssey. I think that would have been mind blowing, but it looks more like just a straight port with 60, of 64 um, mm -hmm. with some up res graphics. I think it's running at 720p. Uh, both docked and in handheld, whereas the Super Mario Sunshine and Galaxy um, are running at a 1080p resolution, which is nice. Okay. And I would like um, to see Super Mario Galaxy 2. I think, in my opinion, Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a slightly better game than Super Mario Galaxy. Um, with the addition of Luigi and sort of furthering the mechanics they added in the Galaxy uh, original Galaxy game. That would have been nice to see in there, as well as the th 3D Mario Land, Super Mario 3D Land, which was um, a precursor to Super Mario 3D World on the 3DS. Uh, my guess is that there may be saving that for Super Mario 3D All-Stars 2, possibly. Okay. Somewhere down the line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so for me... Like, I have no issues with any of the games that they picked. Um but and and you know I'm not a um, as big of a Nintendo guy as you are, uh, so I haven't even played all those games. You um, played I, I just played. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah. I you did. haven't played Galaxy or Sunshine. No, okay. no, because I didn't have a Wii U at the time. Yeah. Um, but well, both those games are from the uh, GameCube, Sunshine, and the Wii. For Gal the Wii, yeah. okay, okay. Um. Isn't one of them on the Wii U as well? Didn't it get ported Wii over the World, Wii U? Which we'll talk about okay. later, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not too well versed on the other two games. I did play uh, Super Mario 64 uh, when I was a kid, and over the years I've seen. Though I don't know if you're aware. Did you know that there's like a group of? Um, I don't know if it's a group or if it's one person, but. Uh, there's somebody remaking Super Mario 64 on the PC. Yeah. Have you seen that? Using the Dolphin emulator. Yeah. And it runs in crisp 1080p, <laughs> if not higher. Yeah. Full 16 by 9 uh, yeah. screen size. And Oh, to point out, um, Super Mario 64 is running in 4.3. So it's like they didn't put a whole lot of effort into uh, modernizing it. And that's a little disappointing. Yeah. And so, yeah, my whole thing is like, if a super fan can take Super Mario 64 and kind of remake it using modern, uh, uh, for modern technology, 
why can't Nintendo? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they have all the money and Nintendo, resources. We, Nintendo was like, look, these guys are going to buy this game anyways. Uh, we don't need to, you know, divert a ton of resources into this thing. Let's just put it out there. Slap a pretty yeah. coat of paint on it, but not too pretty. Not too yeah. pretty. 720p pretty yeah. is enough for these guys. They'll, they'll snatch it up. And you know, yeah. they're, they're right. We, we can complain about this game all day, but people are going to buy it. It's going to sell a lot of copies, especially with that six month window that the game is available for. I mean, mm-hmm. I think that they're going to be typical sort of greedy Nintendo. And again, I love Nintendo to death, but I'm not afraid to criticize them. I criticize them all the time. I do think yeah. that after March 31st, 2021, they're going to, they're going to remove the game. Like they said, they're going to remove the game from both physical and the eShop and just sell them mm-hmm. separately for like 30 bucks a pop. That's the Nintendo way, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right about that because it makes no sense for them to pull yeah, it off the people. shelf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what they, they're gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. You know what? I think you might be right. Even though that's like a cynical thought, I didn't even think that they would do something that crappy. That's but <laughs> very yeah, consumer. That, but like that's kind of the way they are. And to their credit, it has worked out for for them in a business sense. Um, just last yeah. week, I saw an article. I don't know if you covered this um, last week. That Nintendo in 2020 is the most valuable company in Japan right now. Oh no, I did not know. Yeah, that. they had a year over year 500. I think it was 527 percent increase in revenue from 2019. So people are buying their games, people are buying their systems, and uh, they they're kind of sitting back and laughing at us because of it. <laughs> yeah. Well. And I have a friend of mine who was uh, telling me that, um, I mean, even now, especially with the whole lockdown and everything, the Switch is in high demand right now. Oh, yeah. And he was saying he was having a hard time getting one right yeah. now. So, um, yeah, you're right. They're they're going to do what they're going to do. Um, all right. So, next up, they have uh, – so, this is something that my inner child was ecstatic about. Same, bro. <laughs> this thing was- um, hype. So let me let me uh, briefly talk about this. So Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. So basically, uh, it they're little RC cars and they have cameras on them, and you know you can drive them around on a track in your home that you set up. You can set up different tracks, and it uses augmented reality so that you can play it uh, using your Switch. Now, this is going to release in a Mario or a Luigi set. Each one is going to be $100. I don't know how much of the track they're going to give you. I, I don't know if they're just going to give you, like, the starting and finishing line and then the car. Um, I would assume that's probably what they're going to give you. Um, and then you have to decorate everything on your own. Um, but this this launches October 16th. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so when I saw it, I was like, man, <laughs> like, if I was a kid today, or, or like, let's say you took this and you teleported back to the, the early 90s when we were kids, and you were like, check this out. Yo. You, your, your brain would explode. Yeah. Ten-year-old your brain would now, explode. Ten-year-old me by now would have been begging my parents and, oh. and, and taking on extra chores, mowing the lawns, you know. Even if we had dirt roads, we'd be mobile, yeah. trying to make yeah. a buck, trying to prove to my parents that I deserve this, uh, this, uh, this toy. It's essentially a toy. Yeah. It is a toy, but it's a, it's a very sophisticated yeah. toy. I mean, this is Nintendo, um, like really kind of um, l- like looking back into their toy maker roots. I mean, they, they were a mm-hmm. toy maker well before they were a video game uh, company. And so they have a lot of experience making toys uh and, and then kind of bridging the gap between toys and video games that toys to life sort of thing and they're really good at that yeah yeah this thing is really awesome um it at this point i'm sort of aged out of oh, I'm I would, I would stay. okay yeah you're you're breaking up a little bit but okay you're back all right um yeah no i heard what you said it we are kind of old for this now, but I can just imagine, first of all, 
no shame on any adult that wants this. <laughs> like, not at all. Like, go get this. So I don't. Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, I I feel like playing this game on carpeted floors would feel like you're running races in 25 CC. Yeah. Yeah. And the yeah. game does offer um, 50 CC, 100 CC, and 150 CC, just like its video game counterparts, which is really cool. Okay. Uh, the higher, the faster your races are, the 150 CCs, the faster it drains your battery. So I don't know, I'm really sure how that works, mm -hmm. but um, I, I'm real, I'm happy to see what what transpires from this. Yeah, and a part of me was wondering, like, how are they going to deal with, like, kids losing control and ramming their car into like furniture? And part of me was wondering if they had some, if they built some kind of a fail safe system in where if you set up the track and then you go off the track, the car automatically uh, powers off. And then that, yeah. So I, I was, I was just thinking about, I was like, cause man, it would suck to buy this a hundred dollar car and then just smash it into a wall, you know? Yeah. Like full speed. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully they, they built some kind of smart, uh, detection system so that it can um, protect the the your investment, but um, like a Roomba. Yeah, like a Roomba. Yeah, yeah. But um, I can't wait to see the videos that people start posting on YouTube with this because you know people are gonna come up with these crazy tracks and they're gonna be driving all over and they're gonna be streaming it live. You know, it's gonna yeah. be awesome. And people will get really good at these things too. I know. I don't know much about the underground RC racing circuit, but I could imagine with enough time, people are getting like super great with these controls. Yeah. And uh, what if we could see some drifting? Yeah. <laughs> one of the core terms of Mario Kart, right? Drifting. Yeah. You can actually see that. That'd be cool. Well, I know in uh, Japan, they have that, um, they have those uh, gas powered cars and, yeah. and they build like super detailed tracks and they drift them. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it would be interesting to see something like that. I know Nintendo hates that company because they're not they're not officially licensed. Oh. But they'll have them driving around the streets of Tokyo all the time. Oh, they'll get okay. shit on Nintendo, and they'll be quiet for a little while and they come back up again. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a funny situation. Yeah. Uh. All right. Next up. Um. So did you did you first of all did you see the Gotham Knights trailer? Um. Which one is that? Oh yes. The yes. Okay. All right. So. There's new details about the game. Um, I wanted to go over those because this trailer looked awesome. Um, Are we done talking about Mario? Oh, actually, yeah, we're not done. My bad. <laughs> but I can see, I can see what's exciting you right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so next up, we have the Game and Watch uh, Super Mario Bros. So, uh, okay, first of all, I want to say that um, I I had one. Well, I didn't have one. My aunt had one when I was a child, and I used to play it all the time. And uh, it w it looked exactly like the one that they showed. It was like this little uh, handheld, and you could play uh, Super Mario Bros. on it. And so it contained Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros., The Lost Levels, and Ball with Mario, which is like one of those like old-school uh, black-and-white games. And Yo, they need to remake Ball with the Super Mario Odyssey engine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all the resources in the Ball, next gen. It it also functions as a watch, uh, like the original. And it, so this is the thing that's confusing. It says it has 35 unique touches. So I don't know what that means, but I would assume that means it it, it probably has like 35 unique little characteristics of it. Um, yeah, like little Easter eggs. Yeah. And, yeah. And so this launches November 13th for uh 50 bucks. So what what did you think about this? Uh this is Nintendo's big holiday game. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they're bringing on the battle of the PS5 and Xbox Series 1X or Series X. Xbox what? Series X? Yeah, Xbox Series what? X. Yeah, this is this is their uh this is what they're bringing to the uh to the to the game. All right, all right. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, clearly they're kind of taking it easy this uh, holiday season, letting those uh, the two Goliaths duke it out. Yeah, um, I think it's really cool. I never had a Game and Watch growing up. I had some. I had a couple of the Tiger Electronics, uh, those those, those yes. devices. 
and they were fun. And they were fun. Like that. I think Game and Watch, this Game and Watch uh, special edition, is a really cool homage to their history mm-hmm. and really um, more of a gift to hardcore Nintendo gamers. Yeah, you know, nobody's mom is going to buy go out and buy these for their young child no. who doesn't have appreciation for what this means and what it is. Um, they're going out there buying Switches, PlayStation fours and fives, and the Xbox consoles if they can get their hands on them but again this is for the hardcore gamer who's grown up knowing the history uh and grew up with uh nintendo and i think it's a really cool homage um yeah. i might get my hands on one too if i can if i can find them when they yeah I, I, I feel like they're gonna go pretty fast i think so too um so um actually uh me and josie last week uh or no two weeks ago i believe we're talking about uh sega for one of their anniversaries they're releasing uh these little miniature game gears have you seen those yeah the game gear micros or whatever yeah and they they there's four four of them each each one has uh four different games and um i look i know um i wish i wish and i'm glad actually to see nintendo release that here because i feel like a lot of japanese companies they release these things only in Japan, but but there's a bunch of American fans who want them too. Yeah. So I like the fact that Nintendo's releasing this thing. And if I, I'm like you, if I can get my hands on it, I'm probably going to get one. Because like I said, my aunt had one when I, ki- when I was a kid and I used to love playing it. And it's going to bring back those uh, memories, you know. Did you have Ball specifically? No, she had the the um, handheld where you could play Super Mario Bros. And it looked... Oh. It, it, it looked... The same. It ha- it was the gold in uh, burgundy color. Yeah, and it it looked exactly the same. Yeah, and, I mean, those colors are the Famicom colors, which is yes. the Nintendo in Japan. So exactly, it's a direct homage to that, and it's it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, I used to play with one when I was a kid, and I definitely yeah. want this. Um. Okay. So next up, it also comes real quick. It also comes packed in with Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. Yes. Which was the official sequel to uh, Super Mario Brothers in Japan. At the time, Japan didn't think we American gamers could handle a game that difficult, and they gave us Doki Doki Panic, which is um, uh, refigured into Super Mario Brothers 2. Just a yeah. little fun fact. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're completely right there. And that's why it was so confusing to Americans to see two different types of games. <laughs> Yeah, they they thought we were just some dumb Neanderthals in America. <laughs> yeah, funny, funny, funny. Before, you bring that up um, before I go to the next one. Did you know that uh, Capcom made charge characters for dumb Americans? Oh, really? Yeah, because they thought we weren't uh, we're circles. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they thought we weren't we weren't smart enough to input like Shoryukens and stuff. Oh boy! But, but funny enough, charge characters are actually harder to play. Yeah. It yeah. took me a long time to figure out Giles Sonic Boom back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So next up, uh, Super Mario 3D World plus uh, Bowser's Fury. So this, the the main uh, difference here is that Super Mario 3D World is going to have a both offline and online mu- multiplayer co-op. Uh, so this launches uh, February 12th, 2021. And it also releases with a Mario Cat and Mario, uh, or a Mario Cat and um, Peach Cat Amiibos. So, um, yeah, I mean, what's your take on this? Um, it's it's dope. Like Super Mario 3D World is an underrated, underappreciated, underappreciated, underplayed game because it was locked in the Wii U. Um, I don't think it's as good as some of the more recent 3D Mario games like Galaxy, Galaxy 2, and Super Mario Odyssey, but it's right behind those. It's locked mm-hmm. right behind those in terms of quality and fun. Uh, I've, I've owned it, uh, played it, beat it, to, uh, played it to death and beat it. I love it. It's great. This one is supposedly a little bit faster in terms of frame rate and the character's uh, movement, which was kind of a, a, a minor sore spot in the original. Uh, but adding that Bowser's Fury additional content is really cool too. I don't think we know much about it yet, no. uh, but uh, it's nice that they're adding uh, more content to this existing game. 
yeah. and to get the game out in front on the Switch is going to sell gangbusters. Yes, that it couldn't do on its original platform. So yeah. good move. Yeah, that was a smart move by them. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so the Bowser's Fury, I guess, is what pertains to adding the multiplayer and offline co-op. Um, well, now, the game already has multiplayer. It's that's one of the big focuses. Okay. Of the game. It's one of the best uh, multiplayer online Mario games ever. Better than the new Mario Brothers uh, uh, games. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. And you know, I I should try it out too because you yeah. if that's you like that game, game so much, it's a great game. Um, now for those who are don't want to pay uh, full price, um, as far as I know uh super mario 3d world is still if you have a wii u it's still available on their eShop. um what did what do they sell them for like 20 or 30 bucks something like that i believe it's 20 bucks 20 bucks yeah, yeah. so if you want to get it now and you don't want to pay full price you should do it now because nintendo has a history of yeah when they release the new one they pull the the old one so yeah funny enough you mentioned that because uh pikmin 3 they did the same thing with pikmin 3 but funny enough, just as of yesterday, they put Pikmin 3 back on the Wii U eShop. Yeah, and uh, I actually did a segment in the uh, the podcast about that, saying that, um, why? You know, like, why? Why do you do that? Yeah. Yeah, just look, at the end of the day, the more ways you give people to play your games, the better. Yeah. And if you're losing a few bucks, who cares, man? You know. Yeah. Um, for your for your fan base, sometimes Nintendo is drunk. Yeah, that's plain and simple. Sometimes they're they're drunk. They make drunk decisions. Yeah, uh, and sometimes in that drunken stupor, they come up with brilliance. Exactly, which yeah. is what we saw with this direct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really good. Um, okay, and then the next is this is my favorite part. Super Mario Bros. Thirty Five. So let me. Uh, yeah, this is cool too. Okay, so what this, is this, Geo? This is a 35 player Super Mario Bros game. And it's kind of like a it, to me it looked like a battle royale gameplay where players where when you kill players you send enemies to the other uh 34 players. And it kind of reminded me of like some of those puzzle fighter games but like in a big uh sense. And it's only available on Nintendo Switch Online from October 1st to March 31st, 2021. Um, so, yeah, what did you think about it? Uh, you're right. It, it's exactly that, a BR game with Mario. And, in fact, it's very similar to the game they put out last year, Tetris 99, mm -hmm. which is a free uh, download on the Nintendo eShop and only available for Nintendo Online uh, subscribers. I played that game uh, for a couple hours, and it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. It's you against ninety nine other online Tetris players, and you're all dumping pieces on each other. And then if you, it, the, the whole idea, just like a BR game, is to climb to the very top and last at the end. It's yeah. really intense, uh, and I think you should check it out if you get a chance. Um, this is exactly that, but with a Mario gameplay, Mario skin on that. It looks yeah. pretty intense, uh, and the fact that they. Uh, centered the amount of opponents to 35 is just another homage to the uh, to the legacy of Mario. I think it's really cool. Yeah, and I think I think so too. Um, I I um, still play Super Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah, I, I must have bought like eight copies of that game throughout my life on various different consoles. Yeah, I yeah. I so first of all, I got um, Nintendo Switch Online because uh, we played um, Rogue Company. Um. Well, well is, yeah, we didn't like it that much, but um, it was worth a shot. Um, yeah. And so I, ch I checked out the, the emulators for Nintendo and Super Nintendo, and they're not bad. They're they run actually really not well. bad. Yeah. They run really well, yeah. Yeah. Um, I felt minimal lag. Um, didn't really make a difference uh, for me. Um, now, I play it's Super Mario Bros. Games, too. Like Yeah games that you grew up playing as well as obscure games that you probably haven't played or definitely haven't played because they were only Japan only until yeah. they came out on these platforms. So it's a yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, and 
Yeah, so yeah, the library is good. Um, now I have my own physical library, and I play Super Mario Bros. on an AVS, which is like a it's a FPGA uh, Nintendo, so I can play it at 720p. What's FGPA mean? Uh, it's a type of uh, a chip that you can program to emulate hardware. So they 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 program it to, oh, cool. to run just like a like an old school Nintendo. So the game runs almost identical. Yeah, yeah. So I still play Super Mario Brothers, and when this drops, I'm gonna be on there trying to smash people. So <laughs> I'm I'm definitely looking forward to this. Exactly for someone like you, you love these types of games. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna yeah. dip my toe in these waters, and I'm known to get destroyed. But that's fine. I'll, yeah. I challenge you at some point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's play it. Um. All right, and then the the final piece uh, we have uh, Super Mario All Stars. So for those that are unfamiliar with this, this was a Super Nintendo game that had Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, uh, Super Mario Bros. Two as it is in America, and Super Mario Bros. Three. Now this came out on the Super Nintendo, um, and it was a it was it was awesome. I mean, it was it's a it's a great compilation, um, and they're going to be um, releasing that for Nintendo Switch Online. So, in fact, they already released it. It released. Yes, that's right. The same time the direct was shown. Yeah, and I actually played a little bit of uh, Super Mario Brothers, the original, mm-hmm. uh, and I like it. I mean, that game is always going to be good. This this version has the touched up graphics. Yes, so it's more detailed in the environments, more detailed in the characters. Um, it's probably the definitive way to play the the definitive way to play those four games. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's yeah, cool. that's that's cool. And and like like we were talking about, that's another boon to having Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah. Um, and then one of the few. Yeah. That service sucks. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not as mature as. Um, first of all, Xbox is killing it with their service. They have the best service. They have the best service. Inarguably. And, I mean, let's not forget, even back in the Xbox 360 days, they had a great online service. Um, Yeah, they've been doing it for so long. Yeah. So they've gotten really good at it. I think Nintendo has the ability, if they want to, have a more robust online uh, service. They just kind of choose not to. They kind of hamstring it. They make it friendly for kids. Yes. uh, Which is fine, but... What about the guys like us who grew up with these consoles from the beginning? We don't need our hands held that tightly. No. To not have voice chat, to not have you know any sort of texting capabilities, uh, it's 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 pretty annoying. Yeah, and you can you can easily mute and block people. You know, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, hard. Yeah. It's not hard. I don't want to get into a rant about this because it's related to the Mario anniversary thing, but. It's just a pervasive sort of annoyance. It's like a like a like a like a a pebble in your shoe until, yeah. they, until they fix it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they need. They, they, eventually, they're gonna realize like, whoa, uh, we're so behind with our service. We gotta we gotta upgrade it. So I don't know how long it's gonna take, but eventually they'll mature and they'll get more features. Yeah, they have to. They yeah. have to. Yeah. I don't think it's happening with this switch, though. Honestly, no. I don't think so. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching this episode of Games I Speak. If you liked the episode, please subscribe and leave a comment below, and we'll see you all next time.